All right, here is the Keystone. And I love this thing, it was awesome for the little bit we used it, but we needed a bigger space for our kids. So we got one with bunk beds. But this is nice, the electric jack is pretty sweet because then you can just raise and lower it without having to crank all the time. But if you need it to, you can override it. Two batteries, which is kind of ideal. Puppet tank cover, they aren't necessary, but they're really nice to have. This is part of the weight distribution system. You might not need it if you have a really big, strong um, vehicle, but um, for most lighter SUVs, they're a necessity. Um, let's see here. These bars are from the weight distribution hitch. And there's that. I buffed and poshed the entire thing. The, uh, this blue um, decal, for some reason it had cracked in some areas, um, just what the sun did to it, but, but not in all areas. It's really just those, those two, that's it. Everything else is really good. Yeah, so buffed and washed the entire thing, super smooth, which is nice. Um, and uh, recommend keeping up on that. Let's see. Yeah, you know, the tires are in great shape. Yeah, we bought this two years ago and we only did a few trips on them. I mean, literally. So, let's see. Oh yeah, here's where you can store, if you use a sewer hose, you can store it in there. That little thing. Yeah, all this stuff I'm, I just got to include because I think it's really nice if you have an RV just to have everything you need. And then all the other stuff you want, you can go ahead and get later. You don't have to take any of this stuff, but if you want it, you could just roll out and go. Um, let's see. Yeah, we put these up here. These shelves, they're held in by, by the uh, shelf itself. You could take those out if you wanted, but I thought the shelves were pretty nice to have there. Fuse panel here. It's a lot of storage in this. It's actually more storage than the other one we have, which is, is better because it can get pretty clustered. Things can get pretty crowded and um, the other one's more crowded than this because the there's less storage. This has never been used, ever, ever. So has the plastic on it. I pulled that off here. <laughs> there's that. Um, let's see, oh, it's propane too, which is really, really nice because electric ones are always on your battery unless you have solar panels and you can always get propane. You can always get propane, so it's really nice. This is a brand new mattress. What we did was, well, we found out that this system, because all RV mattresses are really bad, is uh, we got high density foam and made that. It's, it's brand new, never ever used, and um, it's actually really comfortable. And if you put a topper on it or whatever whatever your preferences are, it would you could dial it in perfectly. That's really the best system. So that's brand new. We used the one that came with it and it wasn't great. Um, TV never used. Um, radio, I think I used once or twice, but not much. This is the same thing. You can put this bar back in if you wanted to hang your clothing, but I wanted shelving, so there's that. It's not nailed in. And this is the standard shower. We never used it. This was a converted uh, closet for the meantime. Um, but yeah, there it is. The AC cranks. It's, it's like kind of like overkill for this size, which is kind of nice. Um, and this, of course, converts to a bed, as you saw in the pictures. A lot of storage up here, which is so awesome, all these. 
And uh, yeah, the only damage that happened is this thing, I think it was over, over screwed in, like they stripped, they stripped it a bit when they put it in. And on one trip early on, it moved and you can see there's a couple of marks there. Where's the other one? Yeah. And I screwed it in. It's, it's super solid now, but that's the only damage that really occurred to it. Yep. I put those shelves in there. Yeah, it's basically in, I mean, really very new condition. And that's it.